What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a mock setup of how we drag baits and suspend baits using planer boards and drift socks. So stick around. For those of you who don't know what a drift suck is, a drift suck is basically, uh, think of it as a parachute. When a, when a person jumps out of an airplane and the parachute opens up to slow their fall, it's the same concept for a boat. So you, you have, you have uh, basically material that's like a parachute, some are vinyl, and it has a big opening on one side and then a small opening on the back end. And this scoops the water to slow the boat down. And this one in particular has foam on the top side and a, a heavy piece of lead or steel on the bottom to help, help it deploy and open up when we put it in the water. So, uh, real quick, on this one in particular, the blue, the blue string is what you tie off to make the drift sock open. And the white one is tied to the back. So when you're ready to pull it in, it pulls it from the back this way. So you're not trying to pull all the water in and it dumps the water, makes it easy to retrieve. So let's get this set up and show you what's going on. All right, guys, as you can see, we got our drift socks deployed. We've got one on the, on the front of the boat and we've got one on the back of the boat. We're gonna do a sideways drift. So what's happening right now is we've got the wind that's pushing us and we've put the drift socks out so they can slow us down. This is gonna turn the boat broadside and we're gonna be able to put our rods out and drag the baits behind the drift socks. So as you can see, as I was talking about earlier, we've got the blue rope that goes to the drift sock and that's what's pulling it open and you've got on this in particular when you got a flotation that'll help open it up and if you've got a, a weight on the bottom to help it sink down and then this is our retrieval rope right here it's slightly longer so that it ties from the back and when you're ready to to pull up this drift sock you just pull the white rope instead of the blue one and it'll pull it from the back and it will Come up a lot easier so i just want to give you this visual demonstration so walk through here and check it out So just one more look from a top side. You're in the boat, you've got one drift sock slowing you down right there on the back end. And you've got the other drift sock. It's floating right along the top of the surface of the water just, be, just below, slowing you down just like a parachute would. So now that we've got the boat steadied out, we're gonna cast out rods and start fishing. All right, so as far as the rigs that I use for dragging baits, I use a dragging weight or a structure weight. Uh, these, in, these in particular have lead in the back and foam in the front. And it's very important because it makes your weight sit upright like this. So it helps to jump any kind of structure that may be down there. Now from here we go to our leader line. In our leader line we have a demon dragon. This could also be a peg float. The main idea is to help lift your bait off the bottom so it's not dragging through the mud and then we have our circle hook at the end so this is our setup we're going to get these casted out to simulate what we were, would be doing while we're dragging these baits what i like to do is i like to have one long one short one long one short so that the lines don't get tangled so let's get this going all right guys so we got our lines casted out we've got this one's short we 
got one long in the back over there. And we got our third line that's long in the back over there. Now, of course, I'm limited in space, so these would be much further out in the water. And uh, from what I understand, the, the further out, the better in some scenarios. So um, <clears throat> these baits would be dragging along on the bottom as the wind's pushing the boat. Ideal speed is about 0.5 or so, 0.5 mile an hour. You can, I've caught them moving 0.7, and if you slow down to 0.3 or 2, you're still okay. But just keep that in mind. Magic number is 0.5. Let's get a closer look at these baits in the water. All right, guys. So as you can see, our dragging weight is off the bottom in the front because of the foam. It is floating the top. That way it's ready to jump over any kind of structure it comes into. The bottom with the lead is dragging on the bottom nicely. Our line, our leader line is going up to our demon dragon. And our demon dragon is suspending our bait so that it's not dragging in the mud. And that's putting it in the strike zone for these fish. So this is the way to drag, in my opinion. And of course you've got your other setup over there. Dragging along. We've got this demon dragon running short. It's got a little little piece of shad on there, and your dragon weight's doing the job. All right, so while we got the left side set up for dragging the baits, we've got the drift socks out, slowing us down to our 0.5 mile an hour. Um, on this side, on the right side of the boat, we've got our suspended rods. We're suspending these because we don't want them going underneath the boat. So as you can see, there's two types of rigs that I've got set up here. This front one is a high-low rig. We've got eight ounces of lead on the bottom. That's ideal to keep the line straight down. If you have any less amount of weight, it'll start to push back underneath the boat. So eight ounces is a good, good size lead to have on there. The one in the back is more of the standard uh, rig almost like a Carolina rig. I think a lot of the guys use that. So what you do is you let your bait sink to the bottom. Once it hits, give it a crank or two out to, just to get it off the bottom so that it's nice and suspended going right across the bottom of the, of the lake. So let me show you these rigs. All right, so as you can see, I got an eight ounce bank sinker sitting on the bottom of this high-low rig. And we come up, we got our first piece of bait just sitting on there. It, it will be pulled away from the main line because of the movement of the boat and come up to your second hook and that's all you need guys it doubles your chances are right there of course if you're fishing an area that's got a lot of structure or uh, branches or stuff like that you probably don't want to use a setup like that one this one may be more ideal and this is uh, where you've got your bait on the bottom Go up, up to your leader line, you've got 8 ounces of lead, and that's what's keeping your line steady, straight down. So these are a couple of the ways that I set up my rods for suspended. Alright, so we've got dragging rigs on the left side, dragging nicely, we're moving at 0.5 mile an hour. We've got suspended rigs on the right side, but now I want to expand my baits. I'm going to use a planer board and that's exactly what it does it'll it'll plane out away from the boat so the water's going to catch this blade and pull your bait further away from the boat that way you're covering more area while you're fishing now some of these guys like to bait their line cast out as far as they can and then put their planer board on but i personally don't like that i think that's too much line in between the fisherman and the fish so what I do is I take my baited rig, this one's not baited yet of course, but I drop it down, let it hit the bottom, and then I'll, I'll pull a few feet of line out so that it has some room to drag, but it's not too far away from my planer board. Now the planer board is really easy to, to attach, it's got a, a clip on the bottom. You just Clip your line on there. You don't have to tie it or anything. And then you take your other clip and go to the top. You go up 
towards the rod tip and just clip that on there and that's that's how it goes installed now you just pitch this out in the water give it line and it'll start to plane out once you put pressure on it so let's get this set up all right guys we got the planer board out and as you can see it's it's planed out away from the boat and it's pulling our bait behind it nicely so now we've got a wider spread we're gonna go ahead and put one on the other side to do the same thing and I'll give you a, a better look on that all right guys here's a look at what it should look like once you're fully set up there's the edge of my boat follow that rod out we've got our planer board in the very front pulling our bait in the back then we've got our other rod coming out dragging behind the drift sock further back so it's not interfering we've got this right white rod with the short dragging setup we got another drift sock with another white rod with the bait far back behind it to not disturb it and we've got another planer board further out there pulling bait give us more coverage and of course on the other side we've got our suspended rods right off the bottom waiting for a catfish to bite all right guys hopefully this video will help you understand how to use drift socks and planter boards while doing a free drift dragging baits and suspending baits i want to give a big thank you to my son alex for being the camera guy really helped me out thank you alex yeah, <laughs> and i also want to give a shout out to sam and the guys at morrow for letting me use this dirt lot right here that they're uh, they're working on right now so yeah i'm on a construction site right now guys but thank you man i appreciate you you guys are always uh, there for me so as always thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time